Now, where would we be without him? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the alien attack, Macron! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We just have the uh, side of his face, Macron on this side of the box, the rest of his face, alien attack, a T O one up top, nothing on the bottom, nothing on the side, just a little barcode on the back of the box, nothing, and that's basically basically it for the packaging. Also included is a collector's card with that same image of Macron's beautiful mug and on the back you have text specs if that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Macron and this is Alien Attack's take on the Dark of the Moon Megatron. Now first and foremost, just want to say a big thank you to the good people at Alien Attack for sending this figure out my way to take a look at. Thank you very much and also I'm sorry. Uh, but moving on, here we have Alien Attack's Macron in his robot mode. We're getting close here so we can take a look not at his belly but at his noggin. Oh, there's his noggin. That's a face only a mother could hate. Look at that. But, um, very nicely done head sculpt in my opinion. One thing I can definitely compliment about this figure is the detail and the paintwork. I think they did a great job of it. Nicely done head sculpt. Got the teeth painted in. All that good stuff. And lots of detail going on just overall. A lot of detail going on. Again, the paintwork, just fantastic. Just looks dingy and dirty and weathered. Got some red and blue in there going on. Even the tires are all weathered. Just dingy, dirty, and grimy. But overall, a lot of nice detail going on here with its claws. Just all of it very, very nicely done. Going down the legs. Again, lots of detail. Lots of paintwork going on here. It looks fantastic. His big old feet. He has some big heels as well. He does have, he does have die cast in him, so he has quite a hefty body. He does have some legit weight to him. And moving up the back, as you can see, a very, very clean transformation there. Again, lots of detail, lots of paintwork going on. This overall looks fantastic. The one compliment I can give it looks fantastic. Now, articulation wise, um, the head can rotate. It can only go but so far, but you can get you know, a good amount of rotation. He can look up, can do total squirrel. He can totally do that. Uh, can't look down too far. Um, the mouth can open and close. So you can ha! He can do that. Uh, the arms can rotate. They're on a soft ratchet. They can move in and out. Uh, moving on down. Moving on down the arms. We also have rotation right at the elbow. Ratcheted elbow. We get a bit over 90 degrees of bend. Um, on this hand in particular, we have wrist rotation and... Uh, the claws are poseable. This claw's on a hinge here, a hinge here, and a hinge there. This little bit here can also swing in and out. This bit in the center is rubber. Um, this claw can swing from side to side. On this hand, we have wrist rotation as well. You have the thumb on multiple joints here. So you can get some claw-like action. And each claw here is a hinge at the base and a hinge there as well. Uh, he does have waist rotation. Uh, you can bring in these panels here, little crotch panels, to accommodate the leg movements. Legs can move forward about that far. Back. About that far. Outward. Uh, you're not going to get too far out, because things do start to kind of collide. You get maybe like a click, maybe two. Outward. Um, you do have thigh rotation. As far as the knees go, move on down here. As far as the knees go... Get a ratcheted knee. Yes, you have two joints there to work with. So you get some decent range of movement there as far as the feet go. Um, 
They can't, they can move up and down a little bit. You do have some tilted, or you do have a bit of rotation, but you have to be careful because, of course, there's a lot of things here that collide, so a little bit limited range of articulation there in the feet. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with the original Dark of the Moon before Richard Megatron. He's Little Megs with the Studio Series version. With the MPM Megatron. It's my knockoff version, but it's the same figure. With the MPM Optimus Prime. Again, my knockoff version, but the exact same figure. And just because, here he is with the uh, Wei Zhang Optimus Prime. Just so you can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, well, we do get quite a bit of stuff. Um, we get his weapon here. We do get his big old shotgun. You can see it does come in a holster. The holster is made of rubber, but you can see nicely detailed and weathered. You can take a look at the gun itself. Again, some nice detail going on there. Some nice paint apps. Overall, a nice looking shotgun. And if you want to, you can store this on him. There is a port right here on his back. You can just take this, drop this down, and just plug this into his back. Since the post itself is rubber, it can be a little hard to kind of get it plugged in, but there you go. You can have the shotgun on his back if you want to, or if you don't want to, if you want him holding his weapon. Of course, he can hold his weapon, and it is the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding, and he can only hold it in his uh, in his right hand. But there he is. Let me just wrap his fingers around it. Like so, and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Of course, he kind of holds that kind of a weird angle, but hey, still, things you can do if you want to do it. So you got that going on right there. And he does also include his uh, little tarp cloak deal here, so he gets some soft goods with the figure. And you can see it's kind of tattered and worn and stained and everything. <laughs> and you can just, you know, kind of wrap that around him. Get that secured, you know, get that secured how you want there, but there you go, you can give him his little cloak there. Again, all things you can do if you want to do it, why not, dare I say why not. And you also get his, uh, his little buddy here, Igor, Igor, I before Igor, uh, you can see, again, some nice detail there. Got his little stick and everything, sticking his tongue out, uh, you know. The arms are on a ball joint, they can rotate, legs also can rotate. His head can wiggle waggle some, side to side. Hey, little guy. He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. And here he is with the uh, the Studio Series version, just so you can see how that works out. There are two little guys, two little ugly guys. And there he is with Megatron. Have him sitting on his shoulder or something. There you go. Ah, but you know. <laughs> but again, things and stuff. Things and stuff you can do if you want to do it. And one more thing here that we can use in robot mode is he does have a uh, a metal chain. If you want to, you can take this and wrap it all around him and do all kinds of stuff and you know wrap things. And he can be Mr. Chain Megs or do whatever you want. Whatever you want to do, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And one more thing to talk about in robot mode is the light up features. Um, you do have headlights that do work. Um, the battery compartments are right on the side here. You just undo a screw on the side. Um, they take uh, two LR521 batteries, two for each headlight. And you also need uh, three batteries for the head. So as far as the headlight goes, there's a little button right behind them. Just double click them and those will come on. You get a nice effect there. As far as the lights in the head go, you have a button right there in the middle of his forehead. You double click that, and that will go off as well. And as you can see, you get this cool little effect that goes off. 
Got like a little sparking effect right in there. Because you know his head was all jacked up in this movie, so... <laughs> Gotta get some sparks going off in his head. That makes for a really cool effect, so... And there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and an amazing looking robot mode it is. I think it looks fantastic. A wonderful display piece. Fantastic figure until you have to transform it. Yeah. He's one of those. He's one of those. So, without further ado, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's so have to take a deep breath because we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be here a while. We're we're gonna be here for a while. So, <laughs> first thing you want to do here is you want to untab his chest. Just pull that down. Once you have done that. You come down here, these panels will come in, and then these little panels will fold up, and then these will interlock, like so. Now you just leave that alone, and then we come back here to the back panel. You can take these little bits on the sides here, just bring them back a thoop, and then you can undo all that, and bring all that down, like so. So now that we have done that, we can uh, just free up some other stuff here. So the shoulders, you just kind of want to bring all this up. It's on multiple hinges, so just kind of bring all that up. You can bring your arms out a little bit just to try to get things out of the way. It's not going to do too much, but you can try to get things out of the way. <laughs> That's one of the major problems with this figure is that it doesn't know how to get out of its own way. It's a very kind of cluttered mess of a transformation. So once you've done that... You come down here, um, swing these bits out, swing these bits out, these little panels will come undone from the side, but there's a little post that goes into the side of this panel here, so just kind of undo all that, and then everything will just kind of start to fall apart, <laughs> it loses all structural integrity, so, now you can... Just kind of untab the head from this panel here. You can kind of bring this up. These little sections here will fold in, and then these panels just compress in like that. That will make the hood. And you just kind of leave all that hanging out for now. Uh, now we can come down here the bits and work on all of this. So you want to bring this up. These will spread out. You have two extra spikes here that you're going to flip out. You have the central section here that will come up and over, like so. So, kind of bring all this up. Again, try to get things out of your way as best you can. These wheels here will just come out to the side. All this is on a big slider here too, so you can kind of slide that back to give you a little bit of extra room to work. And you can kind of see what's what's happening here <laughs> so now that we've done that uh, a little bit here that will kind of help us is you want to come between his legs here and you want to undo this little section here with the ladder on it just pop that up and that will allow this whole waist section to drop down and that will make this next part a little easier? Question mark? <laughs> Extend this up. So what's going to happen is you're going to rotate all of this at this hinge right here. So again, get things out of your way. Shift these wheels down. So you're going to rotate all of this at this hinge here. So rotate all this around. We're going to do two rotations here. So rotate all of that. And once you've done that, you're then going to... Oh god. You're then going to rotate everything up here at, uh, at, ah, you're gonna rotate everything. <laughs> Stay. You're gonna rotate everything at this point right here, at this hinge. So now take all this and rotate all this around. like that. So there you go. So we've done our two rotations. We can lay him down right now and we can do 
a little bit of cleanup work here. A little bit. So, this back panel here does rotate around like that. Again, just try to get things out of your way as much as you can. So once you've turned that part around, what we're doing here is the central section will flip under, these side panels will flip in. This will come down and there's a clip right here that will clip that central section right there that we just flipped in. So just line that up and that will snap in like that. So once you've done that, this chest panel here will come up. This bit is on a double hinge, so just kind of collapse that down and in. And there are two tabs that will go into slots right there, so just line it up and just tab that in. Then you can bring these side sections just in. Just rotate them in and then push them in the rest of the way. And they will sit right there. And that gets at least that out of the way. One last thing you have to worry about. So now we can flip them back over. Because now we have to work on all of this mess, all of this cluttered mess right here. As always, cat here not included, but anyway. You want to take his head and just push it down. Again, use all those hinges at your disposal. Just push the head down. Do that. That will poke through. Uh, this little section right here, you want to flip in. You want to make sure it clears those hinges back there. You want it to sit flush against the back of this. Like that. That's how you want that looking. Uh, the hood, you don't want to close the hood just yet. Just leave that hanging out for now. And we got that done. So now we can work on the arms. So the arms are an adventure all on their own. So what we're going to do here is we are going to undo this panel here, rotate this little section down. You want to then pull this section back, which will untab it from this bit here, and that will allow you to then take this bit and bring that up. This little rubber piece here, this is rubber by the way, you can just swing that out of the way. Just bring that down, get that out of the way as best you can. You have this little section here on this forearm that slides up and down. You want it up for robot mode, for truck mode, you want that down. And also you want the hand, this little bit sitting up top like that. So anyway, once you've done that, you can kind of bring this section back that will allow you to bring this wheel well back so you can then rotate this wheel forward and then you can bring this back and that will sit over the wheel like so. So once you've done that, this arm will bend at this hinge right here. So bend that in and then slide this section in like that. So you can get that sitting as flush as you can get it. And you can bring that all the way down. That will just hang out like that. Then you want to take the arm and just rotate around and fold it in like that. Okay. Okay. So actually there's something we need to do before all this. We need to take these door sections here. They're on a double hinge, so you want to swing them forward. So that hinge is now facing forward. Just kind of get these door panels down and out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. And we'll work on this before we work on the other arm. So bring this roof section up. Bring these bits back. You want to angle them up a little bit because you need the clearance to flip out the spikes, because if you don't have them angled up, they'll butt up against the uh, hinge. So angle these up, so you can get in there, and flip out the spikes. You come up under here, flip out these spikes. It's totally doable, totally, totally doable. Come on, there we go. And then just kind of straighten everything out, as best you can for now, you don't really have to. So once you've done that, these smokestack sections here will rotate out and you have little panels in here that will flip up. You have to do this before you get the arms in place, otherwise all that will be in your way. And not let the arms go where they're supposed to. And you can bring these little panels out as well. Right there. Okay. Okay. So now that we've done that, now we can get this arm where it needs to go. 
So there's another hinge here you have to undo, so a little clip. So you want to unclip that, like so. And what's going to happen here is we need to rotate the arm down. We're going to swing this up and over, and you want this post to end up plugging into this port right in here. So bring this up and over, and again, you don't have a lot of room to work. That's the, the main problem with this transformation, especially the upper body, is you just don't have room to work. Everything is just kind of in the way. It's really annoying. Okay, so let's kind of bring this up and over as best you can. Try to get things located as best you can. It's doable, and it's just you don't have a lot of room to work. And come on, come on, buddy, come on, buddy. I somehow turned the headlights on. Hey, <laughs> first time that's happened. Get that up and over, and that should just pop right in. Come on. There we go. There we go. Get that pegged in like that. This little bit you can rotate around. Just sit there like that. There you go. Okay, so now that we've done all that, oh, now we can get the arm in its final resting place here. Yeah, so, first thing we need to do before we do that is scream into a pillow. No, that's not what we gotta do. That's not what we have to do. Take this bit, flip this up, that will tab in there. So the arm is going to rotate in. You're gonna rotate it in at this base hinge right in there. So rotate the arm in at that hinge and what's going to end up happening is you have this little tab that's going to go into this slot right in here. So get everything lined up just right and it should just clip in, boom, right there. Like that. And that can just sit right in there. And there you go. So you have one arm in place. So you have that done. That's one arm. That was an adventure, wasn't it? And again, I managed to turn the headlight on. How am I turning this headlight on? You have to double tap it to turn it on. I don't get how that's working. Anyway. So as far as this arm goes, uh, the only thing you're doing differently here is just this thumb. You're going to be extending forward as far as it will go, and then you're just gonna turn the hand around like that. So other than that, you're doing the exact same thing on this side. Okay, so we have uh, both arms in place, and just so you can kind of see how the hand ends up in there, you see you want the thumb up top, and you do want the fingers kind of curled in as well. So that's how you want that looking. So now that we've done all that, we can uh, kind of get, Megs's head in place here. So all, what you're going to do is you're going to open up his mouth all the way like that and then just tuck his head up and under like that. And that's how you want his head sitting in there like so. So now that we've done that, we can come here to the front section and start just getting things together. So these headlight sections are going to tab into the sides of the grill right here. So just line that up and just tab those sections in like so. And this side actually you already did it for me. Thank you. So tab each side in like that. At this point, you can close the uh, close the hood up here. Just press that in. Uh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. It should be sitting flush. There we go. Of course, everything's going to fight me a little bit when I'm on camera, because of course, yeah, know how it is. You guys know. You guys know. <laughs> but anyhow, that's roundabout what you want happening there. So now, again. Try to manage the clutter as best as you can. Oh, there's also a little steering wheel in here. I popped this off during the JTI. I'm probably going to pop it off again. There's a little steering wheel in here. It's supposed to flip up. 
Let me see if I can get it out without popping it back off. Oh, no, there we go. A little steering wheel there, you flip up. And you also have little seats in here that you can flip up as well. Let's flip up the seats. There you go. So at this point now, we can rotate these sections forward, flip out this little windshield. Just gotta bring this in and there's a tab right here that will go into the slot right here, so just get everything lined up and that should tab right in, like that. And the other side, second verse is just like the first, just as painful as the first. <laughs> Bring this around and tab this in, like so. And then you just have multiple tabs that the roof will drop down onto. If you have everything right. And it should all just line up. Like that. And on the other side. Like that. And the central, oops. <laughs> of course. Why? Because the camera's on. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. So we got that situated. We got that done. There we go. So are we done with the cab yet? No, we're still not done with the cab. There's still a lot to do. Okay, so... <laughs> what's happening now is we're going to work on these little sections here. So this little panel you want to flip out. You might need a tool. This hinge is kind of stiff. Bring that down. Flip this little bit in, right here. And you want to extend this joint out. This is on double hinge here, so make sure you extend all these hinges out, and then you can you know, swing this around. Just rotate that down, bring that down. There's another hinge here that will kind of fold in like so. And there's a little tab and a slot right there. Just take that, locate it, and plug that in right there. Same thing on the other side. Just get this little panel flipped out. Flip this bit in. Kind of swing this up and over that. And again, extend all of those hinges. Bring that down. Make sure this is up and out of your way. Bring that down and that should just tab right in like so. So there you have that part done. We done with the cab? Not yet. Not done with the cab yet. <laughs> It'll never be over. It'll never be over. Okay, so what are we doing here? <laughs> now we are going to just rotate this bit around. And this section, this wheel, will just rotate in. There's a little notch for it to sit in. Right there, like that, and then this panel will just come, come over it, and that will hook in like that. Let me have that in place. Right there. Like so. Okay. So now that we've done that, this little bit right here has its own little uh, bit of transformation here, so this hinge pulls out, it's a little slider, just pulls that out, so you can rotate it down and then rotate this wheel around, this will come around, rotate back, and that will hook over this section here, like so, and then this wheel has a tab and a slot connection right there, so just locate that, tab it in, tab it in, and there you go. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just rotate that around, bring that back. That will just tab in there. Also, these little rubber bits here. Just get those freed up. Those just tuck in underneath like that. Then just bring this over, and this should just slot right in like so. 
Then again, this little hinge right here will pull out. So you can swing that down, rotate that wheel around. Then you just swing it back. That will lock over that. And then that will tab in right there. Voila. And there's one more little thing to do with the cab, but I'll I'll do that at the end. But we are basically done with the cab. That was all the transformation for the cab. That was a cluttered mess, wasn't it? That was totally a cluttered mess. You can get it all together, it all comes together fine, but my god, what a cluttered mess of a transformation. Whew! So now, let's work on the back. Now, the back is a little easier to, to deal with. Definitely not as bad as the uh, as transforming the cab. Um, first thing we're going to do, take these panels here, just rotate them around, and then just open this panel up. Just open that up. Do the same thing on the other side. Rotate that around, and just open that up. And we have the, uh, the front there of the tank. And now uh, we will work on uh, the legs here. So what we're doing here is you're going to untab this panel here. Just untab that. And you have this little, this whole section here is rubber. And you just undo that. And that will allow you to swing this down. And this panel here is tabbed into this section here. So just untab that. That allows you to swing all of this down. At this point now, you can just kind of straighten out the leg here to give yourself some room to operate. So, once we've done that, we can just kind of lie him down and we can work on his feet a little bit here. Get a better vantage point. There we go. So at this point now, we're going to undo his heel here it's on multiple hinges just pull this out like that and you want to untab this wheel section here from the side and also untab it from this side as well all this will swing down just bring that heel down so you're going to swing this around get that out of the way and that will tab in right in there and once you've done that you can take the whole foot here and extend all that out and get that out of your way so now that we've done all that you want to basically take this wheel, just kind of bring it out, and this will also rotate to the other side on its own hinge. Just bring that out like that. And then you're going to take this assembly here. This will swing out. And then you have this assembly right here, which will also swing out just a little bit. And once you get all that freed up, you're going to take all this and then just rotate it to the side. Just make sure everything is out of the way. Rotate all that over so it's sitting like that. Once you have done that, this panel here will fold in. This panel will fold in. Just leave that there for now. This you can kind of straighten out like that. You can just kind of bring that down for now. Again, just try to get things out of your way as best you can. This section here is on a slider, so just slide that out and then just bring that in. That'll tab in. Just bring that out again. Just get that out of your way for now. All we're doing right now is just getting stuff out of the way. So now, what we're doing is this little section here on tabs and drops down. You want to drop this little knee pad down as well. Just kind of get that down. Bring that up. And you want to undo this section here. It does peg into the front of the thigh, so make sure you undo that. And pop that out. Bring this panel out. Open this up. This will just rotate around. Just leave it back. And again, just get it out of your way. I wish this folded back a little bit more. But it is what it is. Okay, so now we're going to take this section here. It's on a slider, so you want to slide it back, slide it back, and then collapse it in. And again, you have to use the hinges at your disposal. You just have all that sitting in like that, and that should 
just sit right in there like so. Okay, I don't know how we can see, but there you go. That's how you want all that sitting in there like that. That's how you want that looking. It's nice and flush against that thigh there. Once you've done that, you can take this and just bring this back up. And that'll just sit right there. Now you can bring this forward. Just let it sit there. You want it sitting, you want this little knee bit sitting over this. Like that. Again, you want that little, this little bit just kind of hanging down for now because you need that for clearance. Okay, so we've done that. Are we having fun yet? I'm not. Okay, so this will all swing in. You kind of start to close things up a bit here. You just get those panels kind of lined up. Get things just kind of swung up and under. This panel. All this down here. Swing this panel out. Swing this up. You rotate this around. Like that. Again, just try to get things lined up as best you can. Just kind of tuck that up and under. This bit right here. <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing. You're just looking at his heel. There we go. <laughs> just bring this section up like that. Open that up again just to get out of your way. Kind of straighten it out as well so it's kind of sitting level with this little line here. Now that's sitting there. And, whew, okay. So we pretty much, we pretty much got that situated. This panel kind of went into its place for me, but yeah. This panel right here will just swing in. It's on double hinge, so it'll collapse in and sit flush in there. Like that. So now that we've done that. Oh my god. Okay. Now that we've done that. Uh, this whole leg is on a slider. So you just want to push this in. And all of that should slide right in. Now we can kind of connect these two halves there. Like that. And do make sure that this is slid in all the way, because if not, it will keep things from lining up. Like that. Okay. So now we got that sitting in there, that sitting in there. There we go. Okay. So again, things aren't looking like they're quite lined up, but that's okay. We're going to line everything up in a little bit because we still need to get other things situated here. So now we have to work on his foot. <laughs> was I lying? Was I lying about this transformation? Nope, no, I wasn't. Okay, so now get this wheel out of your way. And what you're going to do now is uh, this section here, just straighten it out, straighten it out, it will slide in. Um, this whole section here with the wheel is on a slider of its own, so slide that up. This will all tuck up and under this section right here. And then this will just hook on to uh, that bit right there. And this panel has posts and ports that will plug into the foot right there. So get that lined up and plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in, like that. Okay. Is everybody clear? Is everybody paying attention? There will be a test. There will be a test later. Get your number two pencils ready. Okay, so bring this section up. This will then hook into that bit. And you have this little panel here that's kind of, you have to kind of flex it up and under. This little tab that will go in there, like that. Once you've done that, the heel piece will just collapse up in here like so, this little tab and slot connection there, and this little bit right here will tab into the side of that, like so. Then you just kinda get all this straightened out as best you can, and this piece we're gonna leave alone for now, but that is pretty much what you're doing with the one leg here. So second verse is just like the first. All right, so we got both legs done. Hooray for having both legs pretty much uh, done. Uh, one more thing here, these wheels just come in, they have their own little tab slot connection. So they are just going to live right in there. And this is roundabouts. How you want things looking? 
when you have that all said and done in there. So, I don't know how, how clear of a shot I can give you, but there you go. You can hopefully kind of see what's going on in there and how you want everything kind of oriented. So, once we've done that, it is now time to merge the two halves together. So, just bring them together, like so. Just kind of bring these bits up. And the way I do is I kind of start from the top and work my way down. So, I start off with this little top tab right here. So, just line that up. And then just get all this squozen together. And then this back part here will clip together. And if you got everything right, everything should just sit nice and flush in there like that. So now we got all that together, we can work on this. So get these two little bits clipped together, get everything else kind of situated here as best as you can, make sure everything's sitting as flush as it can. And if you did everything right, which hopefully we did, this bit should sit up and over and just clip over these sections here like that. There's also, there's also two posts that go into ports right in here as well. So hopefully if you did everything right, all that should go in like that. And you have this little bit here that will hold that in. I'll just use that for now just to hold everything in place because we still have to get the other side in. But again, just try to get everything situated. Work with the hinges at your disposal. Get everything popped in. Get everything popped in. And all that should be popped in, which it is. We're ready for things popping in. And these little front panels here just have little grooves little notches and that should all just sit in right there and there we go now granted this is a very delicate uh assembly here if you kind of move things around things kind of go boop, 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 you know things start to kind of pop apart so just once you have it done it's it just try to leave it alone <laughs> so once we've done that we just have a little bit more to do just a little bit just a little bit we're almost done so swing this around this panel will come down, uh, swing this panel down, and then these two panels here will interconnect like so. There you go. Turn around. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. Just swing that panel down, swing this around, swing that down, and they will connect right there in the middle like so and the last thing we have to do is just extend the smokestacks here and are we done yes we're done good god we're done and there you go there you have macron <laughs> finally in his truck he can't spin it's all rubber tires there he is in his truck mode and my god, that's a lot, and a lot of it is not fun at all. Jesus. <laughs> like I said, the legs aren't that bad, but getting this cab transformed is just a cluttered mess. It just doesn't know how to get out of its own way. It's just not, it's just not good engineering, man. It's not good engineering. And I don't want to hear, well, it's a movie bot. Blah, no, it has nothing to do with being a movie bot. I have third-party movie bots that have good engineering, and they're smooth, and they're fluid, and they work with you, not against you. It is possible. This just is not good engineering. That's all it is to it. Nothing to do with a movie bot. Everything to do with just not good engineering. That's the case. Um, but yeah, and also, and also, one thing I haven't mentioned is that the instructions are useless because he's packed in robot mode. The instructions start in truck mode. So the instructions were useless. I had to look up videos to learn how to transform this guy. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, missing a couple marks there, alien attack. Missing a, quite a few marks there. But anyway, here he is in his truck mode. The truck mode, just like the robot mode, looks fantastic. Looks amazing. Looks so good. So, so good. Now, I believe you are supposed to remove these front pieces here. 
on this front uh, grill section here. Um, I don't because I saw a couple of videos where the reviewer had like kind of stressed those clips out. I don't want to stress anything out. I don't want to break anything. So um, I just leave these on. Hey, it's more... Hey, more spikes. The more spikes, the better. But I believe you're supposed to take these off, but I leave them on. As always, it's yours. Do what you want. But here he is. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the detail, because there is a lot here. You can see all those spikes. All those spiky spikes. Looks quite good. Nice detailing. And again, just looking nice and weathered and worn. You got the little hash marks there on the doors, <laughs> which I think is a very nice touch. You got the... Uh, Got tinted transparent windows there with some gray trim. Got some nice silver there for the smokestacks, but again, it's all just dingy and weathered up. Again, you got some tampograph details there. Flammable, no smoking within 50 feet, even though I see that happening all the time. But anyway. <laughs> but all in all, though, it looks quite good. Again, I will give full kudos for the paint job here and the detailing. I will give full marks for that, because I think, in this respect, they definitely knocked it out of the park. Looks quite, quite good. But yes, it's all rubber tires. He does roll as rolling things should. He stabbed me with the spike. The spike stabbed me. Ow. He does roll as rolling things should, although not all the wheels hook up. But, you know, you can kind of you can still get a decent roll. It's decent. It's not a smooth roll, but it's a decent roll. So... There you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the original Dark of the Moon Voyager Megs. He's a little guy. Here he is with the Studio Series version. And here he is with MPM Prime. So, there you go. Now you do get some accoutrement that is just for the truck mode here. Um, you get this bit right here, which again, nicely painted, weathered, dinged up. And how this works is you have two tabs. You have these two slots right here. So you just line this up and that should just strap right on like so. You also get this little cage deal, and I believe this is die cast. I think, I think these bits are plastic, but the cage itself is die cast. And this will just drop right over the tank like that. Uh, you do also get some little, uh, some little, some little railage here that you can use as well as this with a uh, spare tire. And you can plug this on either side, really, if you want to. So always show this plate however you wish. You can plug this on the one side. Oh, no, wait. I think this actually goes on the other side. Sorry. They do only go on one side. This, uh, this goes right here. There we go. My mistake. I had a brain fart. Had a brain fart. There we go. So those go on that side. And then I turn this around. And this with the spare tire goes on this side. That's how that works. And there you go. So just to kind of help finish off the look there of the truck. I do think that's quite cool. I like that. You know, and again, those are pieces you don't have to use if you don't want to. But hey, it just gives the, uh, the truck mode that extra finish there. And of course, if you want, you can take his, uh, his tarp. Just kind of fold it out. Just kind of hang it back there if you wish, and you can use the chain if you want to. I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> use the chain if you want to. This uh, this this uh, cage part does have little hooks, so if you want to, you can take this and just kind of hook it around and actually kind of loop it up and over and up and over and, and actually have the chain going around this so you can have it actually like tied down. All things you can do if you want to do it. Now, as far as his shotgun goes, I do believe that it's supposed to store somewhere. The instructions don't say anything about it, but I'm guessing it is supposed to store somewhere because a shotgun can actually fold in half, and that can come up, so it can actually fold up. The instructions say nothing about where this should go. If it's supposed to go anywhere, I have no idea. It's like somewhere back here. My only guess, the, the best guess I've had so far is that maybe it just kind of like clips in back here somehow. 
Like that, maybe? Question mark? I'm not sure. Again, the instructions say nothing about it, so I am, I'm just guessing at best, but I don't know if there's any way for it just to kind of clip in or something. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it seems like it's supposed to store somewhere. There's no, there's nowhere underneath for it to go. Not that I can find anyway. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like I should, but I, I don't know. <laughs> but some other little biddies that we can talk about here in truck mode is you can open up the doors on either side. And you can see the little seat in there and the little steering wheel and all that good stuff. So it's nice to get kind of a little interior there. Of course, you can turn on the headlights if you want to. Um, but yeah, all in all, truck mode looks fantastic. Just wish it was more fun to get there, but the truck mode looks absolutely fantastic. So there you go. So there you have Macron and who boy, <laughs> man. Yeah, again, it looks fantastic. The robot mode looks fantastic. The truck mode looks fantastic. The transformation, though, sucks. Our first nightmare transformation of 2022. Yay! Let's hope there's not too many of those this year, but there probably will be. But <laughs> here's hoping. Um, but yeah, the transformation is just not fun. Not fun. It's just, the engineering is just bad. It's just that, especially that upper body, it's just a cluttered mess of a transformation. The figure just doesn't know how to get out of its own way. It's just, if things could just move just a little bit more, if hinges could move just a little bit more, then things could probably work a bit more smoothly. But as it is, that upper body transformation just, it just fights you a lot. It works against you, not with you. And that's something that I genuinely don't like. I want my figures to work with me, not against me. And um, yeah, it's definitely a problem with this figure. Great as a display piece, wonderful display piece, but it's just, it's not fun. Not fun to mess with in the least bit. Some of these third party companies really need to learn how to engineer better transformations. Make the figure get out of its own way. That's a good thing. Try to make that happen, please. Please. <laughs> there you go. Now you can get this figure from TF Source. You can also get it from uh, Show's store, TF Safari. As always, links in the description down below so you can check that out. Of course, you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for all your other Transformers needs. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Alien Attack Macron. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud. Boom in your face. Now think about it. Seriously, ask yourself this question. Where would you be without me? Do you really want to find out? Um, that... That was a rhetorical question. Rhetorical. Don't, 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 don't answer that. Just, that, that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go now.